Making the choice to purchase a new home is a major decision for anyone. Once you've decided to buy that home, there are many more options that you need to decide on, and one of the most important ones is the ideal size to fit your family and your lifestyle. Katherine Anderson, a real estate agent at Berkshire Hathaway Home Services Premier Properties, is here with some tips to help you choose the right size home to meet your needs. Welcome back to the show, Katherine. Thanks for having me back. Absolutely. So, Catherine, uh, more square footage, is that always better? It's not. It's a common misconception that people have. You need to look at the home and make sure that it checks off the most things on your wish list. Say you work from home and you need that designated home office. If we go look at multiple homes, we might look at one that has all the bedrooms and bathrooms that you need, but it doesn't have that designated home office. So you would have to make one of those bedrooms a dual purpose room, which maybe isn't something that you wanna do. And then we look at another home that's a little bit smaller and it still has all those bathrooms and bedrooms that you need, but it has that designated office space. So that home may be better for your family. So you really wanna see which home functions best for you and your family. It's also important to remember that the bigger the home, it might not just cost more up front, but that maintenance to keep that home up is gonna be more expensive. To furnish that home, you have more furniture that you're gonna to need to put in that home. So it's important to keep that in mind when you're thinking of your budget too. Oh yes, man, maintenance, my gosh. It's an everyday occurrence. Right. So, so how should that maintenance factor into the ideal home size? Yeah, so you really wanna keep that in mind when you're thinking of your budget. Um, outside the home, a lot of people want those large lots with trees, fenced yard. It's important to remember that you're going to have to mow that yard in the spring and summer and in the fall and rake up those leaves. If you're one who goes to the lakes or you have kids that are in activities, you might not have time to do that. So you're going to have to hire a company to do that. And you're going to have to factor that into your budget. If you want a fence in your yard, the larger the yard, the more expensive that fence is going to be. So that's something to keep in mind as well. In the winter time, you're gonna to wanna to look and see where is that house situated on that lot? How long is your driveway? How much sidewalk do you have? You're gonna to have to snow blow that or shovel it in the winter time. That's something we didn't think about when we bought our home. My husband has a corner lot to snow blow, so we have all that extra sidewalk. And when it's negative 30 degrees out in the blizzard, not always the most fun thing to do. But it's also important to think about the maintenance on the inside of the home as well. How expensive is it going to be to heat that home? How expensive is it going to be to cool that home and cleaning? So a lot of things to keep in mind that I will help point out to you while we're looking at homes. Oh my gosh, Catherine, that is a lot and you don't even think about it sometimes. So those are such great points to bring up with your buyers. Right. Um, oh my gosh. What is the best strategy then to identify the number of rooms that someone's going to need? Start simple. You don't want to overwhelm yourself when you're just thinking about what you need. We'll make a list. Start with the simple things like your bedrooms, the number of bathrooms you need, and then think about those spaces that you use every day. Do you work from home? Do you need that designated office space? Add that to the list. Think about the rooms that maybe you don't use quite as often. Say maybe a guest bedroom. If you have family that are coming in from out of town quite often and they need somewhere to stay, you're going to want to add that guest bedroom to your list. You also want to think about the future. Do you plan on expanding your family? Do you have enough bedrooms on your list to accommodate that? Or if you are going to have a parent move in with you and maybe they can't do stairs, do you need a bedroom on that main level? And then once you have that list made, we'll go back through and think of the size of those rooms. Maybe you like to entertain, so you're going to want a larger kitchen living space. So you have that big open entertainment space for when you have guests over. Or if you have a large piece of furniture, you're going to want to measure that so that when we're looking at homes, we can make sure that that's going to fit in your future home as well. Oh, yeah. Catherine, we have to wrap, but um, gosh, there is so many more details that could go into this process. So how can those um, buyers get in touch with you? Yeah, give me a call. My number is 701-318-3536. Our market right now is so low on inventory. If you've ever been thinking about buy, um, selling your home and maybe purchasing a new one, a lot of people are surprised at the value of their home right now. So definitely give me a call and we can talk about that. All right, we will do. Thank you so much, Catherine. Have a wonderful day. Thanks, you too. All right, coming up next, you'll have your eye on entertainment.